Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, let's then uh, start, I would say. Um, let's start with Tavi. You know what we need to Everybody do when smile. we start. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> smile. <laughs> okay, and I, I, I think I will not get interrupted, hopefully. Is, is this your own? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's asleep. Me too, with all my kids bashing through the door. I hope they just <laughs> stay there. Hello and welcome everyone to a new video from our Azure Stack Hub Partner Solution video series. Uh, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft and I'm joined as always by Tiberiu Radu from the Azure Stack Hub engineering team. Hey, how, how are you today? Hey, Thomas. Hello, everyone. I'm doing great and I, I see you've got the right t-shirt on, so that's awesome. Absolutely. I always try to match the kind of like vibe it's going on. <laughs> um, or it was just top of the laundry. I, 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 I cannot remember. <laughs> okay, so we are having another very interesting partner today we are going to talk to. Um, who am I going to talk to today? Uh, def definitely. Today we're going to talk with Umbrella. Um, they are a partner uh, that's actually focusing on both uh, providing managed services as well as a platform that their customers can build solutions on top. So as we went through this uh, uh, series, uh, we've met with uh, both um, partners that provide platforms, partners that build uh, solutions on top that provide managed services. So it's a range of partners. And Umbrella is uh, providing both the, the IaaS platform, if you want, as well as all the way to actually using app services and PaaS and that sort of thing. Uh, Marcelino will go in more details on these, and I'm sure you, you guys all will have a great time. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really looking forward to talk to Marcelino, by the way. Um, so welcome, Marcelino. Uh, great to have you on our Azure Stack Hub Solution uh, video series. Um, so Tibi introduced me a little bit to you and your company, but um, I obviously want to give you the opportunity to explain a little bit more about yourself and also obviously the company you're working for. Yes, no, thank you very much, Thomas and Tibi. It's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to meet you guys and to be here. Um, so basically, um, I'm Marcelino. I work for Umbrella. I'm a cloud platform specialist. Um, I look after our 12 node stack for Umbrella. Um, Umbrella is a cloud-based company focused on empowering our customers and resellers in making the most of Microsoft Cloud <clears throat> to digitally transform New Zealand businesses, you know. So that that's, a, in a nutshell, what Umbrella is and what we do. Oh, that's awesome. Especially, I like the location. So you're based in New Zealand. That sounds sounds like a lovely place. I would love to, to visit one day. Um, so... You mentioned that again, you're like kind of like a service provider for your customers offering Azure Stack Hub uh, to, to your clients. Can you a little bit explain a little bit more about um, who your clients are and what you're offering to them in that sense? Yes, so <clears throat> um, we have a mixture of clients on Stack ranging from small businesses that have a few computer and storage to large businesses. Like one of our clients where uh, um, they're in the health sector, you know, um, Look, I can't go too much detail about our value clients, but that's just, you know, the range of clients we have, the mixture from ranging from very small compute to a large enterprise of customers on our platform. It's multi-tenanted. Um, uh, we, we, do, we do have um, good solutions in place for our clients and we do have, you know, managed services that we offer through our portal. And it makes it really good for our customers because we have our own portal and from there they can go and purchase uh, anything they want with Azure Stack and services that we offer for them. Okay, that, that's awesome. And that's a, quite a lot of things you offer there. So first of all, you mentioned that you have a multi-tenant Azure Stack. So meaning that you can offer the same kind of like Azure Stack infrastructure to multiple different customers and they can use their own Azure AD tenant, right? Yes, um, that's correct. So, that is that is fantastic. And then the other thing is you're not just selling, uh, as far as I understood, you're not just selling the like Azure Stack and you can customers can go through your portal and buy like Azure Stack and they get access to the like the Azure Stack infrastructure. You're also adding some additional value by offering managed services. Um, no, that's great. I, again, I, I love what, what, what our customers and partners are doing with that. Um, going over 
to ask you a little bit, okay, uh, how you actually the journey begins and like why did like you decide to go with Azure Stack Hub and how does it fit uh, in your overall hybrid solution you're offering? So yes, yeah, so, uh, we chose Azure Stack because, as you know, New Zealand's a very small country on the map. You know, just a very small country. So we don't have Azure Public, you know, and the decision around it was for us to have our own Azure Public in Auckland or New Zealand. And this is how Azure Stack came about. And this is the journey we pursued. And we wanted to become the, the, the you know, the, the gateway for our clients to use Azure Stack, not only because everything gets kept in, in a data center and within the country, but then also helps him move to the cloud and start moving some of the resources from um, on-prem to the cloud. Uh, so Azure Stack for them is effectively the cloud, but they know it's in New Zealand, you know? So that was our journey and, 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 and to make it a hybrid feeling for them. So they know that when they get to the cloud, this is how it's gonna look and feel. And just to give them that kind of experience. Okay, now also again, I, I we had a couple of cases where this is absolutely interesting, where on one hand, you're building this to give customers the choice to have it in New, the data in New Zealand, right? And having these offering, not just the data, but also getting like, um, like cloud services, like consistent cloud services with Azure in New Zealand, where they can have um, IaaS and PaaS services and so on. Um, using Azure Stack Hub and, and that. And as far as I understood, it's also interesting, like you, you help customers also prepare kind of like um, modernizing their infrastructure on your Azure Stack Hub, if, like so they can, when they go to the, like they can also go to public Azure as well for some services. So they're already prepared for that, right? That's correct, yes. Okay, so um, now this is, this is absolutely great reasons to use Azure Stack uh, Hub. Um, what would you say is like, um, how are you providing um, or how are you using platform to provide value, additional value to, to the customers? Uh, yes, um, the platform features we are using for our customers is, um, you know, the uh, infrastructure as a service for them, platform as a service. We have Azure apps as an offering, uh, Azure functions. We also use the foundational storage and key vault. Um, we're also waiting to um, trial um, AKS. We have a client, a potential client that wants to use AKS on there. Um, we do also use ARM templates. Um, we've also automated one of our client deployments using um, ARM templates with Azure pipelines, where we deployed basically the whole compute infrastructure system, uh, you know, the basics, the networking, the compute, the storage, even Key Vault. And um, we did that within a few good, should I say, minutes to, to, to Azure Stack for Azure pipelines. So, it's it's really good knowing that we could automate some of the stuff for our clients. So we have a, a variety of different features that we can provide for our clients, and not to mention they able to on sell as well. You know, so they are able to sell these services for us as as partners, as valued clients going forward. So they potentially can sell stack for us as well under their own subs. Okay, that that is interesting. So there's like again, I, I love the story where you get actually these consistent services again, like you get IaaS, like Azure IaaS, right on stack, and then like serverless with functions and stuff like that. But then you also mentioned um, the reseller part. So you basically, if I understand that correctly, you basically offer your Azure Stack Hub services to obviously customers, and but you can also offer that to, to partners basically, which then can go out and resell that. Um, on the same stack, right? Yes, that's correct. Yes, basically. And um, we have our different, you know, quotas that we offer. So we have the way we've distinguished the two. We've got a pay as you go for our normal clients. Um, they can use that for anything that they want to on the service. And then we also have one that we, um, we, we've we labeled as cloud reseller pay as you go. So that distinguishes the difference between the two. So we can actually have a look at see exactly what's happening on our infrastructure. No, that's that's great. I really love what like the, the way you describe what the offers are with the hybrid consistency. But then also, I really love the story with your like reseller part because I think we haven't really in this series we haven't really talked about that, and it's it's great to see that this is also possible a possible way. So with that, it, um, I know that obviously uh, some of our viewers will have definitely more questions, and they will have, want to find out more. Uh, about you and your company. So if they want to find out more, where should they go? Yeah, I mean, um, 
for our clients, I mean, the easiest is just to go to our uh, to our site, um, which is www.umbrella.com, and they'll have everything there. They've got the about the the um, contact and to to obviously get in touch with us, you know, through through all the relevant links on the site. Okay, that is perfect. Thank you very much, Marcellino. Um, thank you very much, Tibi, for introducing me to Umbrella. Um, again, we had a very good talk. Make sure you check out their website. We will put the link in the description of this video, so you can easily just go down and click on it uh, and you get the link. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And with that, I want to say thank you for everyone for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.